would just like to, uh, as always, wish wish you guys well and hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's you know, working through um, a very difficult time in our society. Um, and with that, I would just like to share a few things. You know, after the past couple of days of a personal reflection and some really great conversations with our owner, Miss Amy, and our general manager, John Robinson, most especially our, our football team. You know, there's just some things I would like to say. First, acknowledge uh, my own personal privilege, uh, one that's that's real. I'd like to acknowledge a social blind spot that that either I was unaware of or, or chose not to see. I, I've had the unbelievable opportunity to to listen to our players the last two days in, in our team meetings. You know, listen to them uh, with, with an open mind and, and hear and learn what they believe in and how they feel. Amy, John, and myself have tried to put great people and, and great fathers and, and great husbands and, and great student athletes onto our football team. And, and the majority of those men are, are African American with a much different experience and, and background than, than I'll ever know. And by listening and understanding those thoughts and feelings and how they feel has helped me recognize, I think, what's important. And what's important is, is that we, we find ways to respect each other's feelings, that we respect each other's beliefs, that we respect each other's efforts to make positive change in our community where we work, in the communities where we live, and the communities where we grew up. Being a only child of a basketball coach, playing for the Ohio State Buckeyes, Pittsburgh Steelers, the New England Patriots, and the Kansas City Chiefs, um, afforded me a great luxury of, of seeing how successful locker rooms are built and managed. They're built and managed on fair competition, love, loyalty, accountability, teamwork. What they're not built on is race, creed, color, or money. I would say that in closing, leaders are prepared. Leaders take decisive action and inspire a group of people towards a common goal. That common goal is inclusion, diversity, equality, opportunity. And so on behalf of the Tennessee Titans, our owner, our general manager, the head football coach, our staff, you know, we wanna support and we'll continue to help lead our players uh, as we work towards that common goal. Guys, I can't thank you enough for the way you cover us. Appreciate it.